Prime Minister has said that she will fight Brussels over plans which could grant up to another million EU citizens the right to settle in Britain. A deal had previously been struck to agree that those arriving in the UK after March next year would lose the automatic right to live here, but the EU are now backtracking and wants to delay the cut-off date by two years. Our political editor Ranveer Singh is with the Prime Minister on her trip. She joins us now from Beijing. Morning, Ranveer. Uh, so we understand that the Prime Minister has vowed to fight this proposal. Yeah, well, we may be 5,000 miles away, but it's what Michel Barnier has said that started uh, this new row. He said on Monday that uh, during the two-year transition period, after we officially leave in March next year, that the freedom of movement of people had to continue with no changes. That could be until 2021. Well, this flies in the face, doesn't it, of what we thought was agreed uh, in December when Theresa May finally got the EU to agree to move on to talk about trade. But Michel Barnier says that that, in fact, was a political agreement, not a legal one. Well, on this trip, we have asked the Prime Minister directly for her reaction to this change of heart. And she has said quite clearly that EU citizens' rights have to change uh, after we leave. She says that she refused to say that the EU had actually gone back on their word. She didn't go that far, but she seemed determined not to give in to this uh, demand. And she said that these things had to be negotiated. But she was clear that if you came right up until March 29th, you would have a, a right to stay for perhaps five years or indefinitely, depending on when you arrive. But a day after March 29th, those things can't continue. Uh, but it is her question of her leadership, isn't it? Whether Why in December she thought she'd agreed this and now Michelle Barney is going back on it. This question of whether she's a strong leader enough continues to to dog her on this trip and this just goes to add to those problems for her. Uh, the Secretary of State for International Trade, Liam Fox, is on this trip too, as you might expect. Uh, he's been asked this morning his thoughts on her leadership. This is what he had to say. Well, I will give the full support to the Prime Minister. Uh, as long as she wants to lead my party, I think she is doing an excellent job and I do wish more of my colleagues could see the sort of leadership and commitment and positive agenda that's being projected for Britain here in China. And she's going to continue trying to promote that global brand of Britain when she meets President Xi later on today. And uh, while we may well be in a different time zone here in China, but it seems to us sitting here that her problems back home aren't shifting.